Hey there, friends. Hope everyone's doing good today. Today I am checking out this OK Pro Solar Street Light. So I will be doing an installation of this as well. So here we go. Try not to spill my tea there. All right, some nice uh, wrapping here. Looks like we got a remote and a warranty card. Here's the light. Uh, got a nice large um, solar panel there. And check out the back side. We got two, like, what, 10 LED things. Uh, we got an on off switch and the little detector there. So you can turn this on. And it's got a battery charge. It'll, when the lights go dark, it's going to come on automatically. So good sized solar panel there, so keep the batteries charged and hopefully have light all night long. Comes with some mounting um, pieces as well. So whether you're just mounting this on a pole or on the side of a house or something like that, it's got the brackets uh, that you need to do that. So that being said, I'm just gonna go um, install this, show you how to do that and uh, check it out the difference between uh, my side yard with no light and then my side yard with this so let's go get started okay even before i take this thing outside real quick um, it's got these the bolts on the bottom so let's just go right there and then you have the little washers this goes down and the washers on top so before i even take this outside to go mount it i'm going to get this uh this uh, mounting uh, pole installed real quick. Super easy part, and you need this anyways to mount this. So before you go outside and do anything, just get this on there. I'm just pushing up from the bottom because it's got the plastic. Um, sides on the bottom that hold it in place. Let me just tighten this down. Obviously I'm going to use a wrench to get it all the way tight. But for now, it's pretty snug and just like that they just the screw the bolts fit right in the in the in the plastic there. Now that we have that on there, I'm going to try to mount this on a a pole too. I have a galvanized like fence post. I'm going to put that on top of that and should be uh, pretty nice. So let's go. All right, friends. So here we go. There's this pole right here and I'm just going to be attaching this like right on the pole there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on there first a little bit. Just uh, get the screw set so it's um, so I can put it on there and then just tighten it up real quick. Okay, so there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Just kind of put those on there and we'll tighten them down as necessary. So here we go. Let's just get it up on there and now we just tighten it down. That's gonna take a little while if I can just balance this on my fence right there. Okay, now I can just tighten these down by hand. One. Oh, there we go, that's fast. Okay. There's another. All right, this has to be up at an angle though, like that. So that's gonna hold it in place. This really is kind of a two person job here. You gotta hold this and tighten these down at the same time. So not super easy. 
but we'll try to make it work. As you can see, spin that way. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we're getting there. So hang on a second. Okay, here we go, friends. So I just put a pole there, put that pole inside of that one, screwed some screws into there, right there. And we can adjust this pretty much as high as we want, but there we have it right there. And it's gonna illuminate my uh, back area and side yard here nicely. So um, I got the little light flashing up there. All I have to do is basically wait for nighttime now. So I got a little bit thicker pole up at the top, screwed those in. And so far, it looks like it's gonna be really good here. So we'll show you what it looks like at nighttime. Okay, friends, here we go. It is nighttime now, obviously, and it's at 10%. I just put it on the motion activation button, and here we are walking up to it, and there we are. As you can see, now my whole uh, front yard here is nicely lit up, as well as the, this whole side yard here. So very, very nice. You can see how bright it is. I just put it up probably, it's probably about uh, eight foot, six foot fence. It's about 12, 14 feet up there. So it's pretty good height. And I can make that with that pole the way I have it. I can make it longer if I want to. But you can see back here, plenty of light so we can see if we need to go back to the fence here. And um, yeah, it just works really good. I like it a lot. You can set the remote for different sensors, but I like the just the motion sensor where it's on a 10% and then it comes on to full power after that. So I'm gonna go come in this back way and show you guys um, how much light is at 10%. And then you can see how um, sensitive the trigger is though. Um, I was quite a ways away and it just lights up right away. So really cool. All right, we'll show you from the backyard portion. All right, my friends, here I am um, on the side yard here. Let's get a little closer. That's at the 10%. So enough light to see where I'm going and stuff. And then once we just come around the edge here, boom, there we are. It illuminates the whole area really nice. I'm super happy with this. I like how responsive the uh, motion sensor is. Uh, even at 10%, it puts out, out enough light where we can see. And then there we're at 100%. Uh, nice and bright as you can see, and it stays on for uh, was that about 30 seconds and then we move again and right away right back on so it conserves the battery nicely um, seems to last a long time it's got quite a few batteries in there to uh, keep it going but really happy with this i think it puts out a lot of light um, the, the remote has a bunch of different features and we'll go over that okay friends well here is the remote so you can turn it off if you want just turn everything off and then turn it back on obviously that top button doesn't do anything there's a motion sensor button just hit that and it's going to be at 10 percent the light until it detects motion then it goes to 100 percent or you can switch to different percentage of light that you want it to be at uh two hours three hours five six and eight hours is what you can set it to be of uh, fixed brightness so you can do like two hours of 100 percent or something like that and then after that time the two hours expires it'll go back to the motion sensor with a 10 percent and then 100 percent so pretty cool um, the remote works nicely as well it takes a couple uh triple a batteries in there and all in all i'm really happy with this working great so far so thanks for watching my friends have a great day i'll see you all next time